Campbell River is the third largest city on Vancouver Island. All shipping that goes from Washington State through to Alaska passes between us and Quadra Island a mere kilometer away. Forestry, fishing, aquaculture, we're the center of aquaculture for the province of British Columbia. So it's about building a whole community and, and system that is sustainable, environmentally, socially, and economically. This is a complete retrofit of an existing city hall. Uh, we were in a position where we needed to replace the roof and uh, we looked at uh, what we might be able to do as an alternative to a conventional roof. For the roof project as a whole, we see a reduction in CO2 emissions come in two ways. The first way is through the increased growing medium and vegetation on the roof. It increases the uh, insulation in the building so we have reduced heating costs in the winter and reduced cooling costs in the summer. We're anticipating the reduction in CO2 equivalent emissions as a, uh, approximately two tons. So the vegetation itself will also sequester carbon in its, in its leaves. The species we've chosen are especially efficient at, uh, at, at sequestering CO2. Um, the vegetation will also absorb up to 500 kilos of fine particulate matter in the air every year. So the roof itself also meets the lead requirements for the credit for heat island reduction because it has a uh, vegetated area greater than 50% of the roof. All the species are, uh, have low water requirements, they're drought tolerant. Um, our parks crew, we anticipate, will only have to do maintenance on them maybe once or twice a year. But the, the maintenance on the roof, at, the conventional roof, is actually uh, lessened because the vegetation layer protects the, the conventional membrane. Did it cost more money? Yes. Did it cost the local taxpayers more money? No, because we had the gas tax rebate money, so it sequesters carbon, makes a better work environment, extends the life of our roof, reduces our energy consumption, our HVAC, uh, you know, heating and air conditioning costs will change. I mean, it's, it's a perfect project. The green roof is an opportunity for us to demonstrate leadership in reducing CO2 emissions while creating a usable space for the city and our guests and visitors. Uh, this uh, doesn't involve just a, a roof replacement. Uh, as you can see in certain areas, we've got uh, a Japanese theme. We have a sister city in Ishikari, Japan. Uh, in the background, there's rocky bluffs, so the plant selection was, uh, was made to emulate that. When we're doing tours, when we're explaining the, the science and functioning behind the green roof, we have incredible feedback from the community and more and more classes, school groups are calling us and asking to come out and do tours. We have gatherings out on the roof for city staff, so we have lunch and learns. We're going to be having a compost education workshop for staff and as well we'll be doing similar activities with school groups. Great to see members of the public. Uh, you know, be enthusiastic about the project, so, so being involved has just been uh, fantastic.